Okay, what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to show you how we waterproof um, ignition coil terminals. Um, this is for most outboards that use the earth um, with a little loop with a ring terminal on. So, um, Tahatsu, Yamaha, various ones use these, Suzuki as well. So, these have a little ring terminal which goes on through here with a little bolt. Um, so what we do first is obviously get the coil, make sure that you've got a good one before you seal these up. There's no point putting rubbish ones on. If you're doing it with a new engine, brand new out of the box, it's a good idea to do this before using it. Um, the factory won't do it, so um, it's best to do this yourself before you go running it. Um, this will stop any kind of moisture getting into the earth itself and corroding it. Um, so this is from a Yamaha 50 um, so these little stud terminals are actually cast onto the earthing plate now this plate earths loads of bits and pieces the starter motor, the CDI unit, the coils so it's a good idea to get these sealed up so we're aiming for this which is one that I've done earlier just to show you what it will turn out like um, so these are um, fully sealed in, um, they've got like a protective coating over it to stop any moisture or water getting in there and what we do first is we clean up on the, uh, we've got a bench grinder with a wire wheel on so we clean all of these up, get any loose off of there um, once you've done that um, you'll need to buy some of this, this is um, contact cleaner, it's for electrical, it cleans um, any mankiness off like grease that kind of stuff so once you've cleaned that if you give that a spray just leave that on there for a couple of minutes um, if you want to it's a good idea to just give them a little brush with these little plastic brushes are quite useful just to kind of get any last manky bits off um, okay once that's done just give it a wipe and get it all nice and clean in there we don't want any grease or loose bits of paint or anything like that on there okay so now that that is clean um, going back to your coil um, these bits if they're new you don't need to worry about this so much but if they're old um, what we do is we clean these up with some sandpaper get them all nice and clean before putting them onto the onto the plate itself and you can see how much filth has just come off that one so you get it all nice and shiny you don't want any corrosion or paint or any sealer on these so give a good little clean again with the contact cleaner give that a good spray all up in here and give that a good wipe off this flashes off pretty quick so once you've wiped it and cleaned it all off it's usually good to assemble it um, once you've done that, obviously you want to clean the bolts up. These are what the bolts end up like, absolutely disgusting, so that is no good. So again, what we do is we put them on the wire wheel, end up with something like that. These are fixed washer types, so um, just make sure that you're cleaning kind of this bit as well. Um, once you've done that, there's a few products that you need to go. Obviously I've covered the contact cleaner. Uh, we stock that in the shop, so I'll put a link up for that at some point. Um, this uh, grease, this is made by um, a company that make a load of stuff for this. This one's good for using on electrical fittings as a good general purpose kind of grease as well. Uh, so you need a, a tub of that. Um, there are a couple of these products available. This one's a Starbright one, so this is um, um, like a liquid sealant. Um, it's quite thick to use. This one's actually clear. Um, what you do is, um, I'll show you what you do with it in a minute, but they do this in loads of colours, so if you want to kind of paint them up colours, they do like white, green, blue, all sorts of stuff. Um, this one is better, this is a Johnson Evinrude part, um, it's about 20-25 quid a tube, um, but it does last for ages, we've had these about a year. Um, and you hardly use any of it um, so um, inside the can is a little brush that it's applied on with and this is neoprene so it's the same kind of stuff that um, wetsuits are made out of so you need a can of that um, and then what we do when we want to put these together is 
Um, once you've cleaned everything down, you need to give everything a smear. So this surface here, I'm going to give that a smear with some grease. You want to smear the back of this with it. Don't put tons on there because there's no point. Um, you want to smear this as well. And obviously the ring terminal, smear both sides of that. And you want to smear your bolt as well. So again, put this in here and on the thread and on the back. So once you've done that, uh, what we do with these is I just mount these on the back because it's easier to get to. So that little bolt goes in there. I just bend that up out of the way. And then that has to sit on that little piece there. So we put that on there and just try and locate it into the little hole for it. Okay, that's that done. And then we use these. These are like a screwdriver ratchet. A good reason is you can do bolts up tight, but don't wrench them up. So do do that little bolt up as best as you can. And try and keep these as uniform as possible. And it just looks better. If they are all sat in the same orientation. Okay, so once that's tight, um, wipe off any excess with your rag first. So the grease is where it needs to be. Um, so we've got that in there. Give this a again another little bit of under contact cleaner. Give that a good old cleaner. Um, it'll clean most of the excess of the grease off. Um, okay, so once that's done, that flashes off fairly quickly. So give it kind of a few seconds just to evaporate off and then this stuff here um, just open the tin wipe any excess off because you don't want it to run everywhere you just want to put an even coat on it not absolutely chuck it on um, so that's there and then what we do with this this goes on these fixings and we want to give this a good old coat um, get it in everywhere like literally coat everything um, okay, so do that side get it in here as well okay give that a good coat in as well and then flip it over and you want to do the other side as well this dries kind of matte so um, once it's actually dry it does look quite nice on there. Um, as I said they don't do this in the factory, I don't know why it would take 20 minutes per engine to do this, it will make the coils last longer, give you a better earth, give you a bit more reliability. So once that's on there, um, just let that dry probably for a couple of hours um, and then once it is dry, like I said you get this kind of nice sealed earth terminal um, that should stop any corrosion or water getting in there and prolong the life of your coils. Um, obviously when you go to make the connection, these little bullet terminals that you get on them as well. Um, good idea is just to slide this little rubber boot off, poke a load of the corrosion block electrical grease, pop a bit in there as well, pop a load on this bit and then when you do come to make your bullet connection so this is the one from the engine side we actually pack a load of the terminal grease in there as well just so it gives you a nice watertight well lubricated um, electrical terminal if you do this um, before using your engine even if it's brand new do this it will make a difference um, I'll put some links up to the shop where you can buy this stuff from um, it's not very expensive, the grease is about 5 or £6 a tube, this is about 25 quid, but it will do loads and loads and loads, so um, it's worth buying it. Contact cleaner is about 6 57 quid a tube, again we keep it all in the, in the shop, so I'll put some links up. Um, yeah, let me know how you get on with it, it's fairly straightforward, um, and good luck.